Oh, you guys thought it was over, didn't you? What's going on, everybody? My name is Unvertainment Gaming, and welcome to Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first of many Let's Plays from this game. Ladies and gentlemen, I started this game uh, a couple of years ago on my channel. Never got to finish it for the simple fact that I was doing it at my friend's house, Paul. I was playing it on his PS3. I didn't have a PS3 at the time, and the data was lost. So we're going to redo Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you guys are going to get ready and enjoy. So many of you guys wanted to see this Let's Play. So many of you guys wanted to see me do this all over again. You know what? I've decided I'm going to do it just for you. Here we go. An evil plot unfolds. The beginning of Spyro 3. Everybody, let's get into it. Let's see. Oh, look. Everybody's sleeping. There's eggs everywhere. This game is such a classic game for those of you out there who had PS1s and PS2s. Look at this. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, let me take a wild guess. You're gonna rob my eggs, aren't you? Of course you will. She brought her little minion friends, too. I remember playing this game as a kid, everybody. I mean, this really just, it moved me as a child, so... One of my favorite franchises of all time. Hey, you stupid little dwarves. Hey! That's my egg! And nobody's gonna wake up. I, I, I just love it. Come on, Grandpa, wake up. Wake up! No? Oh, wow. Oh, hey, it's Hunter. Hey! Somebody decided to wake up. Oh, you're screwed now, little lady. What's going on? Get her! Wow, what are... Oh, right in the butt. You freaking dragons are stupid. What are the odds of that? A powerful villain emerges. Holy God, this, is, this would all be good. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Oh, look, a Every fat dragon. One. Excellent. Hey. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Oh, that's messed up. Now, go guard the tunnels. What? Stop anyone from coming through. No! Well, I mean... Oh, look, it's a little fairy dude. Or a chick, or whatever it is. It's a fairy, damn it. You can't distinguish its, its gender. A desperate rescue begins. Oh, great, they're trying to pull a dragon out of a hole. Yeah! Pull! Pull! Well, you made it easy. Hello. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten world. Uh oh. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the hole. Cause you're all fat. Yeah, come on, let's go. Oh god, you're not gonna fit. Your 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 head's too freaking bit. Ooh, spoke too soon. Look at you. Shaking my head. Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Sir, yes sir. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to embark on our very first quest. This game is, I'm telling you guys right now, I did this game about a year and a half, uh, well, hmm, about a year and a half, two years ago, I would say, and uh, you guys loved it, and this is what made my channel right here. Oh, look, welcome everybody, this is Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. I really do hope that you guys uh, get this game and play it, so let's begin right now. Um, first things first, as I did in my last Let's Play for this game, always collect the gems. You always want to do that. You want to know why is because gems are going to be your best friends later on down the road. Uh, they're going to help you with many, many things, including trying to unlock new levels, new stages, um, new challenges, new eggs, as you guys just saw right there. I just got myself a new life because I just cracked one of those little butterfly thingies. Um, but overall, guys, I would have to say that this game right here is still fun to me till this day. For those of you out there who are Spyro fans, you do know that over the years, Spyro as a franchise did not, you know, live up to par. So, ooh, look, a dragon egg. Let's see here. Surprise! I'm, I, I, you know what? Even though the dragon's name is Isabel, I'm going to call this one... I'm going to call you Sean. Aw, you little cute pack of you. All right, um... So anyways, collect as many uh, gems as possible. Eggs, um, depending on how exactly or, or how far you get within the game, you're going to have to need 100 eggs total, so that's going to be a mission. Um, as you guys saw in my previous uh, old school Let's Play, I would have to say, um, I got really far. I got to about 70 or 80 eggs, and then uh, my friends, you know... Uh, pretty much wiped my account by accident on his PS3, Sean. But it's okay. Um, so for those of you out there, uh oh, what's this? To look left or right, press the L2. I already know how to maneuver, Zoe. There's no need to tell me, okay? I'm just trying to. Oh, she freaking zapped me. 
Why? Oh, what's this? Oh, I remember. This has to be Bianca, the stupid little witch lady who took my eggs. What do you want? So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs. Uh-huh. <laughs> How sad. Oh, screw Look here, you. dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Ha! Huh? Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do Is she I serious? Make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. Blah, 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 blah. You're not going to like me when I'm angry. What are you going to do? Turn fucking 12 feet tall and green and you're going to honk smash. You ain't going to do nothing. Like I said, guys, I think in my personal opinion, this was the last best Spyro game. Um, I just, just to say in advance, everybody, I will be doing Spyro 1 and Spyro 2 uh, in the future after I'm done with this game, so you guys are going to be seeing a lot of more Spyro from me. I apologize in advance uh, since I didn't do this Let's Play a lot earlier. Uh, like I said, I did not know about you know this being on the ps3 and the whole shabacle so um good thing that i'm replaying this game because you guys have to agree even this game today is still better than a lot of these modern games today all right so mr moneybags over here has oh what's this all right there's an egg up there I, I can get that easily all right this moneybags asshole is holding the kangaroo hostage so my my how funny to see you here damn, damn, damn. why i haven't seen you since we defeated ripto in avalar we hmm. Well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck Did up a say nice we? deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. D did he just say we? This fat The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. No! I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. Ladies and gentlemen, this dude right here is the greediest. All right, I need 300 gems. This this fat bear that has like a glass eye is the most greediest thing in like gaming history. Literally, instead of helping you, he'd rather rob you. All right, Hunter, teach me some tricks. I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world. Really? You'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump. Then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Oh my God, just Hunter! I, I I know how to play the game, Hunter. I've played this game many times as a child, and I've played it once a couple of years ago. So here we go. Shoot me that hard. All right, I what's next? Something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Hi, oh my god. Alright, well, for those of you out there who haven't played this game, there you go. Uh, just double tap X along with triangle if you want to get across. I'll show you right now. And hoop de hula here we go. I double tapped and triangle. There we go. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Oh, you found an egg, did you? Alright, what's the egg? Let me see. I have to name this egg. Uh, instead of naming it Coltrane, I'm going I'm to name you... I'm gonna name you Vern. There you go. All right, so I have Sean and Vern, and you Hunter. All right, um, there's a cave down here with an egg, as you guys saw. So I'm gonna try my best to get it. Uh, this right here is a little portal that can make this you fly. Oh, what's this? This is a fly power up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. I I know this. I just explained, Zoe. Thank you very much. As you guys can see, burga burga. We're flying, and we're flying much faster. Now, I'm ignoring the gems because I have to get the egg. This doesn't really last forever. As you can see, it's timed. And, oh, shit, shit, shit. shit. Come on, there we go. Oh, hey, it works. All right, egg number three is Amy. I'm not going to call you Amy. I'm going to call you Justin. All right, so we have Sean, Vern, and Justin that I've... <laughs> Oh man, this is going to be a great let's play. Um, like I said guys, I really hope you guys are enjoying this. If you guys are Spyro fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Spyro news information, updates, walkthroughs, let's plays, and all sorts of information videos. If you guys are enjoying this video, if you guys are classic gaming fans and are fans of Spyro along with many of the other classic video games, hit this video up with a like and a favorite. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What were your thoughts about Spyro 3 or Spyro as a franchise? What do you think is wrong with Spyro today? That's what I want to hear because honestly ever since they, they introduced that girl dragon and he's been having like a little crush or all that crap it, It's Spyro has turned into a teen flick sort of say like so, sort of like Twilight, you know This is classic Spyro right here if they were to continue to make uh, Games like this for example. I know they have uh, you know um, 
a game following this. I forgot what it was called, like Tales of the Dragon or something like that. But if they, if they were to continue to make Spyro 1, Spyro 2, Spyro 3, Spyro 4, Spyro 5, Spyro 6, like in, in that order, it would have been great. Um, so let's oh see my. here. Oh my, uh, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. Don't worry, I will help you. I am Arnold Schwarzenegger. I had to burn this freaking beer. All right, so a horde of ferocious Rhinox. Well, it looks like on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, Spyro is gonna battle Rhinox, a Super Saiyan 12 Rhinox. God, that actually sounds like a really cool name, Super Saiyan 3 Rhinox. Sounds pretty cool. Damn rhinos. All right. Um. But like I said, I mean, can you imagine if they had this for the next gens? Uh, Spyro 6, Spyro 7. You know, incorporating the same gameplay except your dragon is much older, much skilled. Um. You know, sort of like a different story. Oh, what's this? My breath, and I'll kick that other guy's butt. You're, you're 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 useless. Please just don't even attempt to kick anybody's butt. Just leave that to me. Um. But like I said, guys. I mean, I I think there's a lot wrong with Spyro today. Um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree with me on that, like my friend Paul. Um, many of you guys can agree with me as well. That's why I love talking to you guys. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below because I want to hear. I want to hear your thoughts on what's wrong with Spyro. You know, I'm pretty sure they're gonna make Skylanders some more, and they're gonna make a whole bunch of stuff. I personally never understood Skylanders. I heard that there there is this tie-in with Spyro and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but like the first three, well, I I, I wasn't really a fan of the first one, but Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 are the best Spyro games ever, bar none. I mean, this, this game, it, it has an incredible story. Get out of here, fucking Rhino. Did you see that Rhinoc? He thought he was all brave and shit, trying to fucking attack me. Still. Oh, look at the size of that one. Big to charge. You'll have to blame him using the circle button. Yes, ma'am. I shall burn the Rhinoc and his giant swinging chicken wing. All right, Rhinoc, down you go. There you go. How easy was that? Um, you know, with today's graphics, with today's animation, Spyro would have been such a successful fr look, look, look at that view. Spyro would have been such a successful franchise, and I just feel like, um, I don't know, maybe it's just me at this point, but I, I, I really, I, I really miss how Spyro was. I miss how a lot of the old school games were, like Banjo and Kazooie, Crash, Spyro, you guys know what I'm saying, because a lot of you guys were born in my era in the 90s, so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but like I said, guys, I am planning to do a lot more Spyro, so just all you have to do is stay tuned. And uh, we have 252 gems, hopefully we're, oh, 253 now. Um, hopefully we can free Sheila, the freaking kangaroo. And then from there we can just get the step and get out of here right now. All right, um, let me see here. Like I said, guys, always collect gems. Always, always, always collect gems, because if you don't collect gems, you're gonna miss out, and you're gonna have to go back and forth on worlds. Ooh, what's this? Another freaking dragon egg, Vanessa. Let me see here. I'm gonna call that one Andy. Okay. So we have Sean, Vern, Justin, and Andy. All right. Oh, oh, hell no, you freak, freaking fat Rhinox, you smelling like wet mayonnaise. Can't come to. <laughs> Oh my god, man. I love Spyro so much, guys. I mean, I may be, I may be a lot older than what, when, I, when I was when I first played this, but I mean, shit, I don't give a damn. I'm still a child at heart. I mean, even though we as babies uh, grow up, I mean, sometimes uh, the male population doesn't really grow up. They just change bottles. And what I mean by that is they go from baby bottles to beer bottles. Still a child at heart, so. Look at these freaking Rhinox. Get out of here. It's like a fat Rhinox with giant half-bitten chicken wings. How does that make any sense? I mean, literally. And they're everywhere, too. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he's gonna eat the chicken. He's going to eat the chicken! And it looks like this guy's in trouble. I mean, it, it feels like deja vu, because I remember when I, when I did this for you guys last year, you guys enjoyed it so much, so I'm really happy. Right, get out of here. Um, but there's gonna be a lot more Spyro headed your way, guys. I mean, I wish this I, I really wish this had multiplayer, because if this had multiplayer, I would have been playing with you guys. But I think I would have worn him down in a minute. Oh, yeah. Th this guy is talking about how, how he would have took on the freaking giant Rhinox by himself. Yeah, you just keep telling yourself that, buddy. I'm just going to go on ahead and free your little village from these giant rhinoceros freaking beings that like to eat chicken, apparently. I don't know. All right, so that should be it. Oh, there we go. There we go. It is it. We have completed the level. Let Thank me see here. Thank you for rescuing my town. As mayor? I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. It's not a chicken egg, you moron. God. All right, we have our fifth egg, which is Sanders. I am going to call you... Oh, I'm definitely going to call you Paul. This is Paul. To the extreme. Freaking clapping and dancing and doing the twerk. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. 
Yeah, I know, right? The ugliest chicken you've ever seen, bro. Alright, so now we have five dragon eggs, which is good. That's the portal on the way out. Um, I'm telling you all right now, if you have the time, go on your PS3s, or go on the computer, and just play Spyro 3. Just do it. Just do it just to relive your childhood, man. I mean... 90s games and early 2000 games are always going to solidify themselves as being the greatest video games of all time. This right here is a portal for extra stuff, guys. I'm going to be doing that later on once I'm done with the entire world as a whole. So, uh, now that that's an over and done with, we're just going to go on ahead. I, I'm actually reminiscing on the boss battles. The boss battles are going to be a little difficult. Ah, uh, crap, crap, in your fucking fucking... All right, well, uh, this guy's not giving me an egg, freaking butthole. All right, everybody, well, uh, as we're going to make our way out of this little portal over here, we're just going to go on ahead and, let me see, um, that's a lot of freaking gems. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to free Sheila, and then I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do right now. Oh, look at that, that's awesome. I wish this game had multiplayer. I, you see a bunch of dragons just flying around. Just ca like, causing havoc, destroying Rhinox and stuff like that. I'm All right, money bags. Fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking about oh, yeah, yeah, Sheila. Right, right, right. All right, here we go. Take your money. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but yeah, I know, right? Being, it's making me rich. Yeah, I I'm making this fat, freaking greedy bear rich. While I'm becoming poor and I'm freeing my friends, this is this is not right. Come on, uh, Sheila. Uh, I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting what? you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? A favor. Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Get out of here. Here's a little favor. <laughs> Fat ass. Hi there. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, name Spyro. Never thought I'd the see The name's one. God. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Who what? Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. Well, I wasn't they born then, lady. Left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, exactly. they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Alright, Sandy, I'll see you in Bikini Bottom. She was a friendly little freaking kangaroo. Even though Sandy was a squirrel, it doesn't matter, they look the same. Um, I mean, this is what made the game so great, the story behind it. Oh my god. Anyways, everybody, thank you all for watching this episode. Stay tuned for more. If you guys are Spiral fans, please subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, hit the video up with a like and a favor. Please help share the video. On that note, everybody, I really hope you guys enjoyed more Spiral to come. God bless you all, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next episode. Please don't steal any eggs, by the way. All right, guys, I'll be seeing you all later. God bless you all. Peace.